Um, the Food Safety Authority of Ireland is the central competent authority for the enforcement of the food law in the Republic of Ireland. Um, that's done, that, that work is carried out by um, inspectors in the Department of Agriculture, Food and the Marine, the Health Service Executive and the Sea Fisheries Protection Authority. Um, following the horse meat scandal, um, we decided that uh, one of the needs of law enforcement in Ireland was to establish a food fraud task force and um, it was embraced by police, revenue, um, social protection um, and other agencies. So it's multi-agency and uh, multidisciplinary and it meets three times a year. Well, we in Ireland take a zero tolerance to food fraud. Um, food is a very important export activity for the island of Ireland and we need to ensure the integrity of the food chain. Um, any information received from any source, be it from a consumer, be it from a whistleblower, um, fellow members of the Food uh, Fraud Task Force is investigated fully and uh, where necessary uh, we will take prosecutions to ensure that those involved in food fraud, in food fraud come before the courts. Um, our motto is um, detect, disrupt, deter and dispossess of possessions if possible. So that's our approach, zero tolerance. Um, the challenges are wide and varied. Those involved in food fraud are typically involved in other forms, forms of criminal, criminal activity. So these people are well used as to, to how to um, bypass the law and make it difficult to detect. Um, challenges for us include um, when to form the opinion that an offence has been committed, um, when maybe to caution the subject, and most importantly to ensure that information is transferred that it complies with data protection legislation because we don't want um, a prosecution to fall um, on a small bit of procedural um, activity rather than actually um, evidence collected for the commitment.